A COVID vaccine candidate developed by Medigen Vaccine Biologics will have to demonstrate its efficacy in order to get approval for emergency use. But so far, it hasn't been tested on people in an environment with widespread community transmission. The Taiwan Food and Drug Administration says in the absence of real-world efficacy data, local vaccine makers can use an alternative method to show their candidates' protective effect. This method, called immunobridging, involves comparing the immune response created in the body by the candidate to the immune response elicited by the AstraZeneca vaccine. Medigen aims to obtain emergency use authorization for its COVID vaccine in July. According to guidelines released by the FDA on Thursday, Medigen may demonstrate its vaccine's efficacy against COVID through an approach called immunobridging. In its immunobridging study, 200 people vaccinated with AstraZeneca will be the control group. They'll be compared against people who received the domestic vaccine. Samples collected 28 days after full vaccination will be compared. If the Medigen group's neutralizing antibodies are at least equal to the level seen in the control group, Medigen's candidate will meet the standard for emergency use authorization. How can we determine whether the domestic vaccine is effective? At present, we're only able to do it this way. At the end of June, results will be released from the study on the AstraZeneca control group. If Medigen can show that its neutralizing antibody titer is equal to or greater than that of AZ, then its EUA application will have a good chance of approval by the FDA. Because of the pandemic, we've decided to do things this way, after weighing all the trade-offs. Of course, we are in a race against time. The hope is to get protected first, but afterward, we still need to see the formal procedures unfold. In a video posted to social media, Former Vice President Chen Jianren threw his support behind the FDA's fast track for local vaccines. In many countries, there are vaccine candidates that haven't entered phase three, that around phase two are investigated to see if the neutralizing antibody titer after vaccination is high enough to have a protective effect. Such a process is very much supported by the EU. He also defended the CECC's controversial purchase of 5 million domestic vaccine doses last month before the completion of phase two trials. Why was Israel so fast? As soon as the Pfizer vaccine was ready, Israel already had all the doses it needed. This was because while Pfizer was still developing the vaccine, Israel had already placed its purchase order. And at the time, the price was higher. I would rather spend a little more to help ensure that the vaccine's R&D process goes smoothly. In the video, Chen spelled out Taiwan's vaccine procurement strategy. Our hope is that 65 percent of Taiwan's population can be covered by vaccines. Our first path to vaccine access is buying them from major international manufacturers. The amount purchased is about 20 million doses. The other path is getting them from domestic manufacturers, which will produce 10 million vaccine doses. With questions swirling over COVID vaccines, the former VP and epidemiologist by training addressed concerns of the hour one by one.